I'm pretty sure you guys can recall that Godzilla said that visits between me and him were rare. Well, about a week later, well, not a week, it was like two days later, when Godzilla came over to visit, and I told him everything. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. Your mom gave up our dad's location. I know, brother. I know. But don't worry. I'll make her pay for that. <clears throat> she will learn that she met with the son of Godzilla, of God, of Dagon. I still can't believe it. Our dad is dead because of her. I just can't believe this. Like, I just can't believe this. Well, bro, if you were in our dad's situation, you probably understood why I, uh, she did what she did. Still, I just can't freaking believe this. I can't believe this. If she didn't give up her dad's location, he would be, he would be with us right now. He would be the king of monsters instead of me. Oh, come on, bro. Like, come on. It's, it's not that bad of being the king. Oh, yeah? Wait until you're the king of the hollow earth. Then you'll understand the bull crap I had to go through. Plus, I'm... I'm getting married. You're getting married? Well, shouldn't that be a good thing? Oh, it is. But, um, there's a problem. I don't know how the wedding freaking works. Like, seriously. Like, sure, our wedding is very similar to how the way humans get married right nowadays. Well, I kind of wonder why, exactly. Oh, yeah, it was because of uh, Gorgira, our stepdad. He kind of made that rule when he became crowned king of the monsters. But still, I just, ugh, been trying to track down with a prime. What about you? Got any luck about him? No. But when I find him, I will let you know. That way the both of us can take revenge on our father together. Yep. I can't wait to see the look in fear of Luna Prime's face while we're tearing him limb from limb. So, uh, now you have more siblings now. Unfortunately, brother, yes, I do. Because my mother keeps on wandering around, attracting male godzillas, and finding no use to them. I'm actually kind of curious on what other male godzillas she met before she met GMK. Wait, she met... GMK fell in love with him? He only pretended to love him, brother. There's a difference between falling in love and pretending to fall in love. Remember, she kind of wants to conquer the world her way. I don't even know why. I don't know why, to, why not just being King of Earth's army. She's basically evil. That's the point, brother. She doesn't want to work for anyone else. She wants to work for herself and herself alone. That's just the point, brother. She wants to conquer the earth her way. And currently, her son Shin Godzilla is currently trying to follow in her footsteps. So, yeah. Ugh. But still, being the king of monsters is hard. Now I'm starting to understand what our dad had to go through in his day. Yeah, pretty much. So you're going to be spending the night here, aren't you? Well, I'm going to be spending three days here, so I hope you won't mind if I stay here for a while. For three days. Sure, bro. 
Make yourself at home. For now, at least. Hey, didn't you say you took this territory over by kicking out whoever was in charge of this area? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Who was the original owner of the area? Oh, a gigantic pack of Giganotosaurus. I killed five of them, and the rest started running away. How many were there? Around, like, 28, I think. So I just killed, like, three numbers of them, and they just started running away. And i never seen or heard from them ever since. So now, for now, this valley is my temporary territory until I beat Shin Godzilla. Any help, brother? Because he might have an ally or two nearby. Hmm, I think I could actually use your help. Just in case. Um, you might want to grab Rodan and in, in Aegirius. Just in case if she... If Shingas actually is planning on... Having a sneak attack on me. Because I know I'm powerful and all, but... It doesn't mean I can get hurt. Like, remember that one time when you were just a little baby and you almost made me broke on every single bone in my body? Seriously, you're still mad at me about that? Of course I am! Like, seriously, I almost died because of you, you little brat. <laughs> Sorry. Well, at least you're not as annoying as my other siblings. Although I do will admit, I kind of wish that Rai Goji kind of chose to follow my footsteps by living with me. So I kind of want what's best for him. As a big brother. There is some good news, at least. At least she's uh, treating her sons right. Yeah, at least. Would have loved it if she did the same thing for me. 